Good day, everyone. It's me, Teacher Ray. Let us learn mathematics easy and fun. Quarter 2, Week 3, Mathematics 4. Our objective for today's lesson is to solve real-life problems involving GCF and LCM of two given numbers. Mathematics 4, Number Sense. Quarter 2, Week 4, 70.1 Let us have a review. Recite, skip counting by 2, skip counting by 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. You can pause the video while reciting or you can capture or video yourself while reciting the skip counting. Let us have a drill. Give the GCF and LCM of 5 and 10. You have 10 seconds to do this. Okay, so time's up. Let us answer. The GCF of 5 and 10 is 5. And the LCM is 10. Another example. 18 and 24. Timer starts now. Okay, time's up. And the answer for GCF is 6. And the LCM The LCM is 72. Okay, give the GCF and LCM of 35 and 70. Timer starts now. Okay, so the GCF is 35. The LCM is 70. What are the steps in solving word problems? What do you mean by agonza? So let us answer one by one. When we say A, it is asked. Know what is asked in the problem. G means the given data in the problem. O, operation to be used, and let us include the word clue. When we say N, it is the number sentence. S for the solution and A for the complete answer or the answer. Now, let us try this one. Albin has 12 guavas and Rona has 18 guavas. Each of them will share the guavas to their friends. What is the greatest number of guavas each of their friends get if Albin and Rona will give the same number of guavas? Let us use a gonza in solving word problem. So, what is A in the problem? Okay, the greatest number of guabas each of their friends get if they will give the same number of guabas. How about G? 12 guabas and 18 guabas. We have O. So we have greatest number. When we say greatest number, we are going to find out the GCF. Again, when we see the word greatest in the problem, we are going to find out the GCF. So, 
For the number sentence, we have GCF of 12 and 18 equals N. For the solution, so I will use the listing method. You can use any of the three methods. That is easier for you. So for me, I will use listing method. So list all the factors of 12. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. 18 equals 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. And then, find the GCF for the greatest common factor. We have 6. 6 is the GCF of 12 and 18. So the greatest number of guabas each of their friends get is 6. For your learning task, learning task 1, solve the following problem using the four step plan. So you are going to use the agonsa. Use the concept of GCF in each problem. You're going to use agonsa and use GCF in solving the word problem. We have one to three. Another problem, Karina baked puto. She wants to put them in boxes of eight and twelve pieces. What is the smallest number of pieces of puto that she can pack using the basket boxes? Okay, so again we will use agonsa. A. So, what is us in the problem? The smallest number of pieces of puto that she can pack using the boxes. So, this time, we're going to find out the smallest number. A while ago, we find out the greatest number and we use the GCF. So, come to think of it, when we use the smallest number, what operation are we going to use or what are we going to find out? So, we are given... 8 pieces and 12 pieces of photo. The operation, so we have the smallest number for the clue word. When we say smallest number, we are going to find out the LCM. So, kukunin natin yung LCM. Kapag ang hinahanap ay smallest number, LCM. Kapag ang hinahanap ay greatest number, GCF. So, since smallest number yung nasa given natin, we're going to find out the LCM. So the number sentence, the LCM of 8 and 12 equals N. Solution. So again, I will going to I will use listing method. So list until you find out the common multiple they have. So for 8, we have 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. For 12, 12, 24, 36. Since may nakita na akong magkapareho sila ng multiple, nag-stop na ako. So, 24 is the LCM of 8 and 12. So, the smallest number of pieces of photo that she can pack using the basket is 24. So, that is the process for solving a word problem. Now, for your learning task 2, solve the following problems using the 4-step plan. This time, you are going to use LCM in each problem. You are going to use Agonsa and LCM to get the answer in that 5 questions or 5 problems. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something new. And kids! Please subscribe on my YouTube channel. Thank you.